Good morning, welcome, and I will try to make it short because uh, probably you are already experts in open access, open source, open modeling. So just a very brief um, history about what we have been doing at IASA. Going back 20 years, 2003, the Berlin Declaration, one of the milestones of open access to knowledge um, has been presented. IASA signed up in 2007, and then unfortunately, nothing happened. However, with more and more funding, uh, partners also requiring open access, 2016, we launched our open access to publications repository, which I have to say was a huge success. Up until then, we were not able to publicly display uh, and make available all our research outputs. Um, with the open access to publications, of course, we started thinking about open access to data as well. And the first attempt was done in 2018 with a little task force actually trying to get an inventory of what is there, what sits on people's computers, uh, what is already publicly available. Um, then we went for a quick solution, which was again the first attempt. We built a data repository with the same software that we used already for our open access to publications repository, um, starting depositing some data sets there. Um, with, I would say, um, kind of little hiccups because of course there were limitations also due to the software. So 2020, a new task was started and included also looking at models and tools and open access to those. And then it really took up some speed. So 2021, the decision was made that to make this work properly, we need some incentives. So Yaza um, decided to introduce data stewards and that was really a step forward. So now we have one data steward for each program able to help colleagues with um, managing their data. What we have to say is in the meantime, of course, our researchers uh, already made progress. Um, Daniel, for example, is one of our examples, but many others uh, giving uh, talks on open and fair data, showing back best practice models on how to store data, how, make, how to make it accessible. So this was a bit more formalized in 2021 with the introduction, as I said, of, a data of the data stewards and an open science uh, coordinator. And then we also thought about a more viable way to make our data models and tools um, accessible. So on one hand, uh, we launched a new website or, um, which displays data and models, but then we also thought, what is the actual reality? And we came across the fact that more and more researchers were using Zenodo or GitHub to store um, their research outputs and make them available. So with the data stewards, uh, we decided uh, we don't want to duplicate efforts. We want to have a smooth way of uh, presenting um, whatever IAS is producing. So the data repository was discontinued. We will use Zenodo, which is already the practice that a lot of researchers um, uh, use to deposit our data sets. They will still be uh, recorded, of course, also internally so that we have an overview also with a breakdown by research group and research groups and programs. However, the way forward will be GitHub, which also integrates nicely with Zenodo. And along with that, uh, we already had our first talk given by the Open Science Coordinator and one of the data stewards informing about fair principles, um, best practices, and what to really keep an eye on in terms of making data and tools um, openly available. So. This momentum is now also used to go back and revisit whether um, the website is actually working well for our purposes. Along with that, um, we need to uh, probably have more training, more information, um, give more visibility to the elements that uh, will make us 100% open and fair. But we're in a good way as this workshop also shows. So I think the key elements uh, that we need to keep in mind is um, we needed infrastructure, but of course the most important uh, thing was to have the people that will actually be like the data stewards advocates for 
open science within the institution. So I think that was a huge step forward and um, we'll take it from here. Uh, for now, if you want to visit our repository, it's publicly available. Uh, if you want to go to our website, there is a section for models and tools. And with that, I think I will leave you to a constructive and inspiring, more hands-on um, morning and afternoon. Welcome to Yaza and have a good day.